this blade right here is the Schrad SCHF43, also known as Jessica X. There is a lot of talk about this knife. It's finally come out, so I hear, and it's going to make a lot of people happy. And a lot of people that is skeptical about it may grow to love it. I don't know. Some people may hate it. I don't know. Myself, when I first grabbed it, it's a few months back, I wasn't sure. I use this knife a lot. I probably use this knife more than most people will, you know, over those past few months than probably a couple years. And I've grew to love this knife. What I'm going to do today is, I've already put a video out on this showing how it chops and so on. It's a great chopper. You know, uh, what can I say? I mean, I take this myself out more than I do any hatchet I have. It trims branches. You know, you have a lot more surface area here, so you can just swing. And, you know, it's a lot easier. You don't have to be on mark as much. I don't know. I just like it. So I use it for my, you know, heavy chopping, really, besides an axe. I mean, if I'm chopping down and falling trees and so on and so forth, huge trees, I want an axe. But this comes in very well for saplings, four inch trees and so on. I mean I've fall you know I've fallen them all with this knife. You know up to four inch kind of thing. Takes some chopping of course, but it does with a hatchet as well. Anyhow today what I want to do is show that you can actually do the finer tasks with this knife. A baton's like a dream. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to carve a spoon. Using this and a sanding stone that I brought. Now this here is cedar, and it's uh, seasoned cedar, which I know it's not going to crack on me. You gotta know how wood grain works and how it flows and such to carve any spoon with a knife. Is this very uncomfortable to do this? No, it's not.
you notice how I'm using this, I have this up in the first hand, you know, hold on this. And uh, I just put my finger up here and I'm using my thumb for controlled carving here. Now I do not have to go really, really deep with this spoon anyhow. Because if you look at a kitchen spoon, you know, they're not really deep. You don't need to make a bowl in your spoon. It's just a somewhat, you know, shallow depression. Enough that will catch some soup or liquid as well as you know, some vegetables or whatever. This is looking good so far. The only thing I have to, I'm only using about this part, first half inch or so of my blade. And it's working well. Like I said, me holding this like this here, it's, uh, it's a heavy knife, but it's balanced well. So, it's not bad. I leave that long on this end. That way there I have something to hang on to. And make this a little bit more shallow. And the bowl part of this is basically done. Then it's just to carve the rest. pretty good but you got to remember when you go down like this here it's going to stop in the middle because of the way the grain goes because it's going to want to go in here and uh, go against the grain you always work towards the grain I'm a woodworker by trade so I know how to work wood so I think that helps going very fine now. Just to clean it up in there. Then I have my sanding stone to finish it off. That's looking pretty good in there so far. It's a nice little bowl. Like I said, you don't need a great big deep bowl in a spoon. That's looking pretty good. It's just got to be comfortable. Just cleaning up these lines a little bit. spot got to go in from the other side and take it out of there now that bowl I can finish up with the sanding rock that there is the uh, sanding rock it's just an abrasive rock that I have found but Works great for uh, sanding wood.
Ouais. Just that little bit right there has done wonders. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, move that out of the way, I'm gonna start shaping the bowl part. Or, sorry about that, shaping the spoon part. Gotta kinda be uh, somewhat careful here. <laughs> so, I've got that basically down the way I want it. Okay, if I can chop that off without splitting it. Perfect. This is tedious work right here. Just right around that edge, you gotta watch. You're not gonna split it. But as you see, it's a nice carver as well. See, when you're cutting cross grain like this, you can blow out this part. You gotta remember, and then the center, you want to go this way, you're going to blow out this part. So we kind of go down this way to about the center and then turn it over and go the other way. It's always about reading your wood. looking good thus far. See, I can take just fine, fine little pieces off of this. I have not even sharpened this since I've got it. And I've used this for months. Never had to. I mean, it's, you can't shave with it, but it's sharp. I th I've stropped it. I have stropped it. But I've never actually taken a stone to it or anything like that there. It's a good start already. Give you a peek. There it is right there. You can see just that little bit of sanding. And uh, it's starting to come into shape. I'll shape this all down and such. But you can see how well this works, the sander. Now I can shape this if I want to, take the rough edges off. But if, no matter what knife I was using to make this spoon, I'd still use the sander to uh, get off, you know, make it a lot smoother so I can actually eat with it. Now I'm going to uh, take this part here off. In the back side here. Now for this back side, what I'm going to do is just start chopping.
kind of roughly shape it. Not hitting hard, I'm just kind of... I better move that out of the way before I actually hit that. That wouldn't be good. Now you can see this here too. Of course, as I'm chopping, I'm being very careful I don't cut myself. Always knife safety. That's going to have some nice characteristics to it, actually. little knot on this side just stabbed me in the finger. Over here this little branch. That's for feather sticking. <laughs> It'll feather stick if you need it to. Okay, we're getting some rough shape there now. Geez, I could eat with that right now if I wanted to. I think I've cut myself more with little sticks and such that's, uh, you know, in my work area than I've ever had with a knife. Like that just stabbed me a little bit in that finger and now I'm bleeding. But it happens to all of us. Maybe I was focused too much on my knife safety. <laughs> you know, the thing is, is this is a spoon already. Now that's a spoon already. You can make that as fancy as you like or as crude as you like, but I could eat off of that pretty easy. So can you fine curve with the Jessica X? Well, here's the deal. A blade is only as good as the person wielding it. That's the thing right there. It's according on your skill set and so on. Um, I'm able to find carve with it. I'm sure many, many people can. I like the design. When I grab this thing, I've got a nice heavy weight chopper. Plus, if I have to or if I want to, I can carve with it. I'm very glad I have one. That's all I had to say. I mean, everybody is for their own opinion, but I'm very glad that I have one. I'll give you a quick close up of this thing and uh, see what you think. I mean, like I said, I can keep playing with that, but I don't want to have an hour video kind of deal, right? So I'll give you a close up.